Welcome to Hit and Run, Bike or Row. Uh, if you have a treadmill, a row machine, or a bike, spin, spin bike or the Aerodyne bike, great, you can use that. Otherwise, get outdoors for the cardio portion of this. We are going to have four different cardio portions, totaling 28 total minutes. And then we're going to have three kind of strength core sets uh, shoved in between all that. So, here we go. We're going to start off with uh, a warm-up. Getting in a good old pigeon. Nice and tall through this. Getting into this hip of the front leg that's underneath you. We can kind of float it where we drop the hip down, push it straight back up, drop it down, push it back up. Maybe about five good drops and stacks on one side. Nice, and then we'll switch over to the other. Bring the knee up, shove the other leg, leg back, kick the foot out to the side just a little bit, and drop down and stack it back up. Dropping down. Nice, we're gonna now go into a scorpion. So lying face down, arms are teed out to the side, lift one leg up, reach it back over you, kind of focusing on this shoulder. It'll lift up, but try to keep it not, ooh, I just got a good pop. Ah. Inhale down, exhale, the banana leg, and then exhale as you push yourself over. Go two more each side there. You're getting the stretch through the front of the abdominals and down into that hip flexor. One more each way. And a little prom coat run uh, just to kind of get a nice good back bend that looks like this and just pushing yourself up again think that you're really just getting a stretch out of these abdominals in the front of you getting a nice upright low back <sighs> stretching out one more <sighs> this really helps after being on the couch all day long uh, binge watching <laughs> okay rolling sit-ups here, plant nice and tall. Nice upright posture. Show from the side. Nice and upright, and here we are. Two, three. All right, should be looking right in front of you. Six, seven, nine, ten. Nice. Alternating a long lunge. So, with a long lunge, we're actually taking a nice deep step. This is getting into this front hip and stretching out into the back leg hip flexor. You can easily set that knee down if you would like. Reach up overhead. Awesome. And then switch legs. Nice and tall. 
feel it all nice and big stretch right through here. One more time each way doing that. And other side. Nice. Now getting into the quads. Taking one leg if you need to hang on to something, fantastic. What you want to do is make sure that the knee is driving down into the ground and that you're pushing this hip forward, then pulling on that foot. That's going to get your biggest stretch down. If I'm just sitting here like this, I'm not really getting a good quad stretch. So make sure that you're pushing this knee, the bent knee, back behind the straight leg, the standing leg, and then squeezing the glute and driving this hip forward. Then you should feel a nice stretch down the front of the quad. Nice, and then switch sides. These are only meant to hold for about maybe five to 10 seconds. Nice, big, long, getting into the adductors. So when you're here in this position, don't just bend over to the side. You're actually shooting your hips back and then lunging over to the side. Then you get a nice little stretch down that inside adductor. All the way back up, both knees locked out, then over to the other side. Both feet should be facing forward. Back up to straight legs. One more time this side and back up and over to the other side. Nice, just opening up the arms, hands down, and then as you open your palms will go up. So just doing a nice little arm swing. And getting into a torso rotation, letting the feet pivot so we're working into the the hip rotators, getting those guys warmed up. Nice. Now lock down the hips, don't let the hips move at all, and we're working into the thoracic spine. So now, I'm getting that upper spine rotation, warming the upper spine up so that I can actually use it in my running motion. Fighting those hips from wanting to move with you. One more. Awesome. Okay, last thing is going to be leg swings. This you may want to hang on to something. A front and back swing. Here's one of my trusty dusty. So that way I can get closer to you. <laughs> Hanging on to something. A wall. Uh, countertop, anything like that. Focusing on the torso, not going with you. We're focusing on the hip uh, flexor and extensor, getting those in a bigger range of motion than what you will be using whenever you're on your run gait. And switch sides. So you get a nice little hip rotation pattern going as you're swinging. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and switch legs. Up, 
We're gonna do 10 on one leg, then we're gonna go 10 on the other one, then we're gonna be ready to start our workout. Here we go, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and good. Switch sides. One, actually on a treadmill or bike or row machine. Uh, if you're going outside, the idea is that you run all the way down the street, minute easy, two minutes fast, and then you turn around, try to make it back in that same exact one minute easy, two minutes fast, try to make it back to your start point if, uh, in the same exact amount of time or faster if you're actually pushing it harder on the second two minute fast. So pause it right now and go to work. All right, starting round one of our two exercises. We're gonna go through these two exercises three times through. First one is a reverse crunch to stand. We have five of these. So up and up, that's number one. And then a plank Walk out, hand walk out, and back to push up. We have five of those. So here we go. Starting with the reverse crunch to stand, five reps, and we're on. One. If you do not have the ability, the hip mobility to stand up, just go here, nice and tall, kind of, and then reach up overhead, kind of like what we were doing in the warm up. One more. Great. Now into our plank position. Five of these. Walk the hands out. Back to the push up. Hands out. Do not let the hips sag. Nice solid plank. One more. Nice. Okay. We got one more round through these. Starting with our rollers. Here we go. Definitely 
up to your knees. When the full push up gets too hard. Awesome. All right. Next round of cardio. Same exact kind of thing, but you're going to go one minute easy and then three minutes fast. If you're out on the street, that'll be your turnaround point, and then one minute easy, three minutes trying to make it back to your start point faster than what you did on your first run out, meaning you should get back in less than four minutes. Um, if you're on the treadmill or a machine, obviously you're just looking at the timer. One minute easy, three minutes fast, and then repeat that. So pause it right here and go after it. All right, how was that? Okay, next two exercises, man makers with no weights. Okay, so this is all meant for you to not need any equipment except for if you're, you know, using a uh, treadmill, row machine, or bike. But man makers, no weights, five reps, and then the a split squat hold where we're going back and forth, keeping down in that split squat hold. So here we go, starting with our five man makers. Hands go down on the ground, jump out, lift all the way up, drive and then I'll go back. Other hand, down into another push up, jump in, reach the hands up, lunge, lunge, there's one. Hands go back down, squat thrust out, lift, lift, push up, jump back in, hands up, front lunge, front lunge, there's two, hands down, plank out, lift, lift, push up, jump in, hands up, there's three, hands down, plank, pull, pull, push up, jump back in, look up to, to get up out of that squat, lunge, lunge, we got one more, hands down, pull, pull, push up, jump in, hands up, lunge, lunge, there we go, that was five, obviously if you have dumbbells and want to do it with dumbbells, by all means, definitely do that, okay, going down into our shooting side, split squat, then we're half hopping right and left, 10 each way, so it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other leg, straight from the front. Down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. If the hop is too much for you, just stay down into that split squat hold the entire time we're jumping back and forth. Okay, second round of man makers. Here we go, hands down, plank it out, pull, pull, push up, hop it in, up, lunge, lunge, number two, down, out, pull, pull, push up, hop it in, up, Number three, down, out, pull, pull, push up, hop it in. Four, out, pull, pull, push up, hop it in. One more, down, out, pull, pull, push up. Hop it in. And lunge. Lunge. Awesome. Back into the split squat. Hopping right and left. Ten each way. Here we go. And down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Awesome. Other leg. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
nine, 10. Awesome. Last set of man makers. Five more left. Make sure that you are pulling your head up before you're standing up out of that squat. So you have a nice, good, solid uh, stand position. I'll show you from the side. Here we go. And number one, out, pull, pull, push up, jump in, head up to come up out of that squat, lift up overhead, lunge, lunge. Number two, out, pull, pull, push up, I'll hop it in, head up, two, two, number three, out, pull, pull, push up, hop it in, head up, lift up, lunge, lunge, final two, out, pull, pull, push up, hop it in, eyes up, lunge, last one, out, pull, pull, push up, hop it in, eyes up, overhead, lunge, and lunge, okay, final split squat. Things in my toe. Okay, here we are. And going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Other side. Down. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Third round of cardio. Same pattern as the very first one. One minute on, uh, one minute easy, two minutes fast. Turn around if you're outside, come back one minute easy, two minutes fast, again, trying to beat your time. So, enjoy. Pause it now and go. Okay, we're on our final round of strength. We got two more exercises. One's gonna involve good old push-ups, one of the easiest uh, upper body things to do whenever you have no weights. And then the other's gonna be for our core. So, 10 total push-ups here. We're doing the one where we push up and then alternate touching the toes. And then the other one, well, that was a bad demonstration, is gonna be our 10 of these where we go from hollow hold up to the knee grab back up to the hollow hold, up to the knee grab. We have 10 of those each time coming up. Don't round it over when you're coming up to the knee grab. Kind of pop that chest forward. So we're actually really getting a nice, good upright posture as we're pulling in for that knee grab. Okay, so here we go starting on the push-ups. Push-ups to alternating toe tap. We are counting the number of push-ups. And we're on. One. Two, three, four. Exhale and as you come back up, brace. Five. If you need to go down to the put, uh, knees, here's six. Back up to the toes to do the touch. Seven. Pop it up to the knees. I mean, up to feet, knees. Back up to the feet. Two more. Awesome. Okay, flipping over. We have the hollow hold and knee grab, 10 of these. Here we go, starting in hollow, up to knee grab. There's 10, awesome. Y'all heard that little pop, by the way? It was my zipper. <laughs> Just so you know something's not functionally wrong. <laughs> okay, here we go with round number two of our push-up toe touch. And we're on. Six 
those saggy hips. Arms start forward. Drop down to the knees. Two more. Nice. Flipping back over for our hollow hold the knee grab. And here we go. Out. Grab it in nice and tall at the top. I should be looking out towards the wall. Six. One more. Okay, final round of this. Again, don't jeopardize form. If you need to drop down your knees, definitely do it. Don't fight it through with saggy hips or a tucked chin. I should always be looking right here in front of your fingertips. Here we go, final 10. Our final set, uh, rep. No strength after this, so give it all you got. You have one minute easy, three minutes fast. One minute easy, three minutes fast. That is it. So it's eight more minutes of work. Go out there, get it, give it all you got, and we'll see you next time. Hope y'all enjoyed this.